It's a breakthrough in the world of organ donation. Doctors at NYU recently transplanted pig hearts into two patients who were brain dead. 72-year-old Vietnam vet Larry Kelly of Pennsylvania loved fishing, and he loved his partner of 33 years, Alice Michael. He liked to fix things, and he was very upset because he could not fix my cancer. Kelly died in June from a heart attack and was declared brain dead. Because he had a history of heart disease, including two open heart surgeries, his partner consented to NYU keeping his body on life support for research. Last month, doctors flew to Virginia to remove a similarly sized heart of a genetically modified pig and fly it back. The old heart was taken out, and the, and the pig heart completely replaced it and was able to do all of the things that the heart has to do to maintain blood flow. Just last week, a similar heart transplant was performed on 64-year-old Alva Capuano of Stuyvesant Town. NYU says the former teacher died of cardiac arrest, likely due to complications from diabetes. For the study, both Capuano and Kelly were kept on life support for 72 hours following the transplant to see if the pig heart could keep up. I think one of the most incredible things to see um, a pig heart um, pounding away and beating inside the chest of a human being. This is really a milestone and a stepping stone in the right direction for uh, someday hopefully making this clinically applicable to save the lives of many individuals. Kelly's family hopes this study leads to changes for others down the road who struggle to get a transplant. He was a hero his whole life and he went out a hero.